The Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Children's Confession. Father God, I thank you for this day that you have made, and I will rejoice and, and be glad in it. I thank you for my family, my home, my pastors, my teachers, and I my church. I thank you that I am a child that is proper and obedient. Because I have been trained in the way I should go, and when I grow up, I will not depart from it. Father God, I declare that I am quick to learn, quick to understand, and qualified to do whatever I am asked to do. Because I can do all things through Christ who helps me. Therefore, I am never afraid because I know that no weapon formed against me will prosper. I cancel the plan and the assignment that the devil has planned against me. Devil, if I tell you to go, you must go. So go, devil, in Jesus' name. I declare that God's kingdom will be done in my life now. I walk in good health, victory, and wholeness. I have the favor of God in my life, and I live a life of prosperity because I'm a rightly directed child. In Jesus' name, amen. Preschool ministry rules. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 oh. Therefore, I will walk wherever I go, use my inside voice, keep my hands to myself and not harm anyone else, speak kind words, listen to my teachers while they are talking, raise my hand to be recognized, and enjoy my learning experience. Hello and happy Sunday to all of my preschoolers and parents. I am Ms. Andrews and I'm so thankful to be with you all for another Sunday lesson. I pray and hope that you all have been having a great week. We are in a very fun month and I want to see who can take a guess at what month we're in. That's right, we're in the 10th month of this year and it's October. So with it being a new month, like I said last month, we're going to incorporate singing our months of the year song. So what we do, if this is new to my preschoolers, I want you all to stand up and make some space around you. And that way, while we're singing our months of the year song, you can dance and we can sing this song and we're going to do it often and with repetition, with practice, it's going to make you better. So everyone, y'all get up, get some space around you, that way you can dance as we sing our months of the year song, all right? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. That is so awesome. You all did a wonderful job. And like I said, with practice, it's going to make you better. So we're going to keep working at it, right? Yes, we will. Boys and girls, with it being the month of October, we have a new focus as well as a new scripture. The focus of this month is praise and worship, and the scripture is Psalms 33, verse 2, and it reads, Praise the Lord. The Lord is my strength and my song. Psalm 33, verse 2. So our topic is praise and worship. I want you to check out some of your preschooler friends as they share what praise and worship means to them. So what's your, what's your name? Elise. And I am Miss Andrus. What do we like to do when we praise and worship God? What do we do? We raise our hands. And I, we dance. And we dance. We say, I love you. What do we, we like to do? We say, I love you. I love you. What's up, God? What's up, God? I love you forever. I love you forever. Love and what's the highest praise? For your I love you. And the highest praise we can give God is what? And the highest praise we can give God, we say hallelujah, right? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. Tell me your name. Madison. All right, Madison. How do you give praise and worship to God? I share it. What do you share with him? 
You share your toys. But what was the L word you said you share with him? I share my little girl. Good job. All right, tell me your name. Hannah. All right, Hannah. Why do you give praise and worship to God? You love him again. Awesome job. And I'm very, I um, know he's happy and satisfied with it. Good job. So praise and worship. Worship is how we show God that we love him. How we praise him. And who can tell me what's the highest praise to give God? That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah is the highest praise we can give him. We can show praise and worship to God through our love, our action. We know love is an action word. So we can praise and worship him through our, our praise, our worship, raising our hands up to him by singing. We can also, some of us may want to play instruments as we sing and praise him. And even some of y'all like to dance, right? Some of y'all like to dance. So that's one way we can show that we worship and we praise God. A very important way we can also praise and worship God, which is a topic we recently discussed, is through prayer. We have a relationship with Him, we can communicate with Him. And praying is what we do to show that we praise and worship God. Some of you are also familiar with giving offerings. Giving offering to God is a way that we can worship Him by our actions. Now, what are some ways that God shows He loves us? Well, most importantly, God gave Jesus, his one and only son, to die on the cross for our sins. So that was an ultimate way of him showing that he loves us. Let's see, he wakes us up in the morning, he protects us at night, and he protects you as you're riding in the car with your parents or grandparents. Anywhere that you go, he protects you on your way to school. If you have to have to ride the bus, he protects you. He guides you to not allow anything harmful to happen to you. He provides a house for you and your family. He gives you what you need. He, he, has, he gives you food that you can eat, clothes that you can wear. He keeps you healthy and strong. Can I see your muscles? Let me see your muscles. Yes, he keeps you strong and healthy. So there are unlimited amount of ways that God shows he loves us. So in the Bible, there is a king named David. And some of you all might have heard of David. Let's see, who is the strong giant? that David defeated. And it starts with the letter G. That's right, Goliath. Goliath was the giant that David defeated. He was also the leader that led the Israelites to victory. And he also made plans to build a temple for God. So one day there were some Israel enemies that decided to steal some very valuable items from David. And those valuable items, they were very important to him. And David and his army they, they took it back. They said, no, this is these are mine. So they took it back from the Israel enemies. So because they were able to take these items back, they had a parade, they were praising God, and David took it to a whole nother level. He just, he took it, he went further than what everyone else did. So he was in the street dancing, dancing, praising God, and he was doing it so much that he came out of his clothes. Now his wife, she was very shocked. She was surprised that he did this. She told him, you know, you need to stop doing this. She was very embarrassed about him because of the way that he was praising God. So she told him, you know, you need to stop doing this. Leaders, kings, they don't behave like this. However, David did not allow anyone to stop him from praising God, for giving him God the ultimate praise, highest praise of hallelujah. So, he was not ashamed. He did not allow anyone to stop him from doing what he wanted to do and showing his love to God. And David did this to honor God, to celebrate him and to show how much he truly loved God. And you know what? This made God happy and gave him the glory. All right, well, let's thank God for this awesome lesson on praise and worship. I want you all to challenge yourselves to no matter what, to give God the praise, to tell other people about how God has been good to you. Can you all do that this week? Yes, yes, I know that you can, I know that you can. Before we end in prayer, I want to see if there's anyone that is not saved. If you aren't saved, this is giving your life to Christ. When you receive salvation, you give your life to Christ. You know and believe in your heart that God sent Jesus to die on the cross for your sins, that he rose again, and now you're able to have this amazing and abundant life. 
If you believe that with me, I want you to repeat this prayer of salvation. Lord God, I am a sinner. I know in my heart and I believe that you sent Jesus to die on the cross and he rose again for my sins. Lord God, I accept you into my heart and into my life. And now I am saved. Amen. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's thank God for those that receive Christ. Now you all can go and tell others about how God has been good to you. Right, let's close our prayers. I want you all to get in the posture of prayer by putting your hands together, bowing your head and closing your eyes. Lord God, we come to you. Thank you for who you are, that you are a great God, and that we can give you the highest praise of hallelujah, just thanking you for all that you continue to do for us, all that you continue to provide for us, for you being amazing, for you being wonderful, for you being a true God. We thank you, Lord God, that we can love you, and we thank you most of all that you gave your son Jesus to die on the cross for us. You showed that ultimate um, unconditional love for us, Lord God, and we thank you for that. We thank you that we can praise you, we can worship you, no matter where we are, Lord God, we can give you praise, Lord God, and we can freely do that. We are not ashamed of you. We thank you, Lord God, for every preschooler, every parent, um, guardian, Lord God, that's tuned in. We thank you, Lord God, for them. We thank you, Lord God, that they can go out and tell others about how good you have been to them. We thank you that we can praise you through our prayer life. We thank you that we can praise and worship you through Raising up our hands and dancing, Lord God, you give us the freedom to do that. And we thank you for everything you continue to do for us. We love you. In your name, we just pray. Amen, amen, amen. Well, preschoolers and parents, I thank you all for tuning in for another Sunday lesson. I want you to stick around and check out some great happenings with our children's ministry. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Please, I have a question for you. Do you know what the Holy Spirit is? No? Well, let's see. Have you ever had an imaginary friend? Yeah, someone that you can talk to and uh, play with, but nobody else around them can see, right? Guess what? It's kind of like that, but only it's very real. That's right. God's voice, that still small voice, that tug in your heart, right, when you feel really good, or even that feeling when you know you've done something that you shouldn't have done. That's God speaking to your heart, and that's called the Holy Spirit. And we want to make certain that you invite him into your heart every day of your life, even right now, being five, six years old, you can have the Holy Spirit leading and guiding you every day of your life. So let's pray together and ask for God's Spirit, His Holy Spirit, to love on you and to get into your heart, okay? Let's get in the posture of prayer. Father God, right now, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you, dear Heavenly Father, that your Spirit leads us and guides us. Right now, whatever, whatever preschooler is watching, Lord God, we just ask that your Spirit overwhelm them with love, Lord God. Speak through their hearts, Lord God, and let them know that they are loved in Jesus' name. Amen. So, if you hear the Holy Spirit tugging on your heart, feeling, feeling your heart with love, go with it, okay? All right, guys. Have a great day. In preparation for this event, candy donations will start being accepted on Sunday, September 17th. You can drop off your donation at the Preschool Classroom or Kids Town. Preschool Lives are now available every first Sunday and every Wednesday. Join us for a special preschool Bible lesson and more. Are you great working with children? Join the preschool ministry by visiting rdci.info to complete a volunteer application and join our team. Be sure to subscribe to Kidstown YouTube channel where you can catch children's ministry and preschool weekly.